Hey guys, you're watching one and only, my name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Today, we're going to be building the Wood Chopper's Shop. Say that ten times fast, go on, pause the video and try it now. Wood Chopper's Shop, Wood Chopper's Shop, Wood Chopper's Shop. I've never done it like that before. <laughs> we're going to build it here. We're not too far away from the carpenter. Obviously, having the carpenter nice and close to the wood choppers just logistically makes sense. This is going to be where the woods are going to be like we said and I want a little path look at this natural like pathway that will come through there and this is where I want the wood chopper shop to be so we need to remove this giant lump of ground here there's no point in it being here uh, we're not going to use all of that space let's turn the old shaders off so let's first get rid of this giant mass of land I want to keep that hill uh, so we have like the pathway to go through it but this one over here we certainly don't need so we'll just do uh, pause two, make sure we didn't get the cathedral, set air, a kapow. And then what we can do is we can grab ourselves any kind of tool. We can say brush smooth, if I could spell. And then, yeah, smooth that off. Just so it doesn't look like a giant wall on the side there. Click it down. Look at that, hey. Super quick terraforming. You need to change your stone up to grass and all that kind of stuff. But that's no problem. Alright, wonderful. Now we're looking, again, back to something that looks a little bit natural. But we've just gained ourselves a load of room while still keeping that natural pathway that goes through it. So, let's stick the shop down. What way do I want it to be facing? Do I want it to be facing sort of, like, so the entrance looks out to the woods i think that would make sense and the back's facing that way let's let's uh get a load of uh fix all this ground sorry get rid of all this stone uh, at least in this area still got a lot of it to do pause to replace stone with grass and replace dirt with grass it'll grow Oh, it's spread, but it's just easier. Oh, and uh, coal ore, apparently. Ore, 16. There we go. And gravel. <laughs> gravel. All right, so now, are we happy now? We're happy we've got a nice sort of ground area to build on? Yeah, so um, this shouldn't be that difficult of a building to do. We're going to go with oak to match the buildings, you know, that we're using oak wood for the sort of sides. We're going to need the wool. And we're going to need cobble. And for the moment, that'll probably do, right? Oh, yeah, and then uh, the roof blocks. Uh, we'll go, we'll stick with the dark oak, I think, to, to match those ones. I think commercial buildings will use dark oak, and for residential buildings, we'll use spruce. And then that way, when you look at it from, like, the top down and stuff, you'll be able to sort of differentiate between the different buildings. So, uh, we want to have the corner of it uh, around here. Maybe back a, maybe back just a little bit. I think that's a pretty pretty good spot for us to start with, and then we want the wall to be made out of cobblestone. Now we don't. This is going to be like the workshop wall of it, so we don't need a tremendous amount of, um, of of, of length there. We don't need any any windows or anything like that. It's not going to be a huge building either. Then it's going to come out. Let's keep every two blocks. We'll have a pillar. that one and then uh, I could have it drop in a little bit as well so we could we could actually go like in like this and then that's going to be sort of a, 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 a covered up area that could work and then have those in there that one can be the roof or, or the door the roof that <laughs> could be the door door um, spruce door would work quite well for this I think uh, on like that works fine I'm happy with that uh, we'll add detail and slabs and stuff like that afterwards we don't need to worry about that at all now and then we'll have it come down a little bit of depth not too much nothing too crazy in fact it doesn't need to be even that much because it gets thicker over there four blocks between the two probably makes sense it makes a nice uh, window in the middle and have it going this way will match so it's like a little hallway you see 
for him to walk down like little coat hallway. And then we'll have another one to match in line with that one. And then this will then come back to there. So we've got our blueprint, our footprint of our wood chopper shop. <laughs> wood chopper shop. And that one in there. Now we can add more pillars. We can take pillars away, whatever we need. Uh, but for the moment, I think that's a pretty sort of good start for us. Now, the second layer, we're going to make it bigger, like how we do with that one. So the second layer is always just that little bit wider. Uh, but to do this, we need going to have to put a base first of the logs. Do I want it to come out here? I think so. So I'm trying to keep all of the logs facing in a, a direction that makes sense. And that one. And then have that going along there. We definitely need... To, oh no, I've, got, I've already got a log there. I don't know if I need any logs going through the middle of, of, you know, like going up here. I don't know if I need them. I don't At the moment, I don't think I do, but we'll have to see. So then that's there. And then we want the pillars to go up. And this is going to be where our uh, wool goes on. And where our windows are going to go. Now, we always do our windows on this world. Just one block. Two blocks on bigger windows. But most of the time, it's just going to be one block. So we can have one in there. We can have one in there. Now, we've ended up with sort of this middle awkward point. So what we might do is just shove this over by one and then that way boom we, 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 we don't end up with that, that sort of weirdness going on uh, this section I mean, we, can, we can still do the wool we can't really put any windows on the front here because these are only two wide gaps but we could put this would be a good location for sign or something like that So many logs. And that one. This one I don't need to worry about. In fact, I don't really need the logs there because that's going to be slabs underneath here. We could use, uh, I don't know, spruce. Would probably work. No, oak. Oak slabs would probably work better. More of a neutral block. Beautiful. So now, hopefully, you guys can start to see what the building's going to be like so that's sort of that undercovered area how cool does that look under there really really nice nice and open uh but still supporting uh put this back up there see this one's a nice uh size for a double window because we've we done it four blocks wide and see how many windows we can get in here i could do one like that or we could just have one on either side or we could have it like that and have two blocks. I think I like that. So then we've got two blocks, then a window, two blocks, and a window, then two blocks. Makes the most sense to me. This one we have the same as the back. So we have a window there and a window there. A log up the middle. And then this side. Ah. Uh, I need, yeah, good. So I, I pretty much need a middle point now i can have two windows like that if we wanted to we might we might remove some of these windows because at the moment this is a uh, quite a lot of windows uh but then this comes up there comes up there uh do i want to have that as the wool as well but that's basically going to be our our point for the roof i think that's working pretty well i think that's working pretty well Let's put these, I don't know if I'm going to keep these logs on the top here, or they'll probably end up being hidden by the roof, but we'll put them down anyway, because no doubt we'll probably be able to see them when we do the interior, um, and if we decide that we want to have slabs on the edge, which we might do, then uh, we'll be able to see them there as well. So just structurally it makes sense to put those around the top. Really cool looking building already. It looks solid, I think it's a really nice size for our scale. I think, I think we're in a good position. Okay, let's add something like this, something like that. Ends up being at the same height, which is like just a bonus win. And I think what we might do is pull this wall out by an extra block. How hard is that for me to do? 
just by one block. So I want to cut and paste. Now it wrecks the window, but I could do that now. So let's fix that window. And by doing that, what that's allowed us to do is have two roofs instead, like, like, like another peak on this side. So then we can see, we can clearly see now how the roof is all going to join together. Now, how do we want this to go? If we do it, oops, steady. If we do it on here, we will cover up the logs that we thought we would anyway. You know, I like it. We're going to do that. So we're going to go up all of the edges here. Down all the other sides. You guys get the gist. I never show roofs anymore because they're just too boring to show. Uh, so let me cut away and I shall be back. All right then, slabs to finish off. Oh, and we need to do the little uh, embellishments on the end as well. What do we want for this one? We'll have a stair and a stair. I think I like that. St Ooh, oh, no, I can't do it on that one because of uh, <laughs> it's two blocks wide and it looks weird if you do it with two blocks wide. But yeah, there we go. So we've got ourselves uh, the roof on it now. Let's get some glass in there. Uh, I'll use normal glass. I'm still used to using uh, stained glass for the uh, uh, modern city world. White stained glass looks so much better in, in that in that world. But here it doesn't make sense. Two more there and there. Okay, wonderful. Now, whenever you're doing these sort of buildings or, or, or like a medieval city, you want all of the buildings to have sort of common uh, things that are in touch with each other. So, for example trap doors on the windows buttons used for little dowels and you want to make sure that you keep that as like almost like a uniform throughout all of your buildings because if you forget it off one of the buildings that building is going to stand out and, and look sort of like it's unfinished oh i see you i see you button 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 and then at the top here we have a button there, a button there. So I'm basically doing them wherever the wood has uh, has dividers up in them. So we run them there, and that's sort of like what's holding them together. We then need trap doors. Uh, I'm going to use these ones. Did I use them on the last one? I think I did use them on the last one anyway. And I always have start them at the bottom and fold them up. Okay, like same as that one, just the way that we we're doing it here. That one, that one, and that one. Whoops. So many trap doors. Okay. Now, I think for a building, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I think the road would probably run down here or something. So, we're going to place the sign up here. Although... Although that's the sort of entrance to the building, I think this is going to be like a private like yard for him. Like how that's got the sort of yard on the side. So we'll have that out here. Now how are we doing these sides? We want to make sure that these are all uniform as well. So we're going to want slab. We're going to want one of them. We're going to want one of them. No, not one of them. I want item frame. And of course we'll put uh, a tree or probably something in the item frame would work the best for us. Put them on there. We could put a log. Uh, we could put a sapling. I, I don't think a sapling would work quite as well. I think just a nice log would work well for in there. Beautiful. Now, uh, the ground around the outside. I think we've got a little bit more time. Let's say from here. And let's go to... We'll go a little bit wider. We'll go to like here. Set cobble i think it's a nice sort of ground base for us and then we've got this space to sort of decorate up see how at the carpenters here we've got like sawmills and some stacks of planks and some products that he's made crafting tables we want that kind of detail over here now there's a couple of really cool ones that we can do we can grab a fence i'm going to be using spruce wood here just so it stands out from the building what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of those in like that and then another set in like that and then we're going to place a log 
like this. And it looks like the tree is sort of being held in there, ready to get chopped up. Like that's a huge tree. That's like a huge tree trunk there. We can do some uh, collection. Like that. Uh, I don't think it's coming out far enough. I think that's better. And then I want... Ugh, come back here. Yeah, I think that works. So we've got a collection of logs there. Now we could do uh, some different woods as well. So we could go with birch logs. Where are logs? Wood. So we can have some birch I think if we use oak, it'll blend in too much with the building. So I'm trying to stay away from that. But definitely having a little collection of, of birch wood here is going to make sense. You know, what? I'm going to put a, like a, a wall that we can then build our, <laughs> our logs onto. So I have to keep deleting them. So we're going to have something like that. I could even make them have a slightly different lengths on this side as well. Oops. Probably should have had that one. There's a little log. Like that. Just so, you know, it doesn't look like they're all the same length on that side. I think that's better. I think that's a nice clump of wood there. So, yeah, two different types. Uh, what else do we have? We've got uh, jungle air. I don't think jungle's really going to work too much. And uh, we're in 1.7, so I don't think we have dark. Uh, what are they called? Um, not... We do have dark oak wood. But is it that much different? Not really, is it? Like it's not huge. It's not a different that's going to make make a huge, you know, uh, difference to it. Crafting tables obviously just makes sense. He's got saws on it. We can stick one at the end of the log, uh, at the end of the pillar there. Maybe stick, oops, that. Maybe stick one or two underneath there. One out the front here. Uh, what else do we want? I don't know, chests. Maybe you can keep some stuff in there. Maybe underneath here would make a lot of sense. We got, oh, I like that either side of the door. That makes a lot of sense. Have a little chest by the his chest uh, a chest by his crafting uh workbench there and uh, do we want to go with another stone wall to surround it i mean they're similar buildings so you sort of you sort of want a similar design i think so i think we'll go for this oh we should also just mix in a little bit of mossy in there as well there we go just so there's a little bit of character in the wall. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. We'll have one, uh, that one as well. A little bit of character in there. Get rid of that. So that's going to be his little entrance here. Uh, you know what? I might sit it on a block. So we've got a cobblestone floor and then a cobblestone wall. So we're going to have to sit it on a block before we can sort of do anything. Uh stairs I might use this I'll, I'll probably get rid of a little bit of uh, land by that wall as well just so it doesn't touch it because I don't like it touching it uh, you know what maybe a fence would be better on here because we've got a we've got a cobblestone floor, you see, cobblestone walls, cobblestone floor out here. So having then the cobblestone walls, I think, is too much of that texture. But we haven't used too many fences around here, you know, apart from in the middle. So I think this should work okay. Like that. Beautiful uh, stairs. I don't have any cracked stairs or anything like that, so we can't sort of make any difference in there. Uh, on this corner, I think we'll put these, maybe on there and there. 
just makes it look a little bit more these are well-off buildings these are like staples aren't they of the uh of the city they wouldn't run without them so they have to be a little bit fancy in there uh sawdust on the floor again we're using iron ore for that put some around the workbenches around the log here around these Just adds a little bit of texture on the ground there. Yeah, looks like little sawdust shavings. Anything else that is sort of like like good like that? That we can place, blocks that we can place down? I don't want any um, pressure plates like we did on the last one. That doesn't quite make sense. There's nothing log-like, is there? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's all sorts you can do with the planks because they make, planks make all of the stuff. But out of logs, all you really make is planks, isn't it? Yeah, no, he's chopping them down there. Um, what about this wall here? It's blank, right? There's nothing going on there. Let's get some vines, wines, some vines, and some string. Let's make this look a little bit more like there's something going on. Just get a design that you like. I think that's pretty good. And then what we'll do it's just oops it's just surround it with string so they can't spread anywhere i'm gonna go again and i'm gonna only put them on the undersides i done that before and i swear i saw them grow outwards but people keep telling me aj you're wrong they only grow down but i'm sure i've seen them grow across okay they can't they can't grow anywhere so let's just dress up the front there we might even put some leaves on there as well just to thicken out some parts i don't think that should i don't think that'll spread down onto there will it yeah i think it looks better you know not overgrown but just adds you know some detail on the building maybe we can have a few uh small sections now we don't want like huge amounts just like that we've got windows on this side so we don't need to go anywhere near as crazy with them over here place them underneath like that and maybe a little bit down here just a smidge all right yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, adds a little bit of character to it. I like it. You know what I'm starting to think though now, guys? Right? There's... That's... Oh, weather. You know what I'm starting to think, right? This is the wood chopper shop. This is the carpenter shop. And then the church. It feels... It, it's feeling smaller now. It, it was the first building that we built. So we weren't 100% sure on the scale of these buildings right so we went with the guests of this and i really i might keep i really like it i mean the door scale is right inside the scale is right but see the more i think about it the more i feel it's right like you imagine the pews down here and the pews down there see that's the right scale that's fine but then when it comes to the outside I don't know from this angle it's better it's fine because it, from this angle the cathedral definitely looks bigger than that doesn't it look hey you say which one's bigger that one or that one and you say well the church is bigger but when you go over here it's perspective isn't it i suppose when you go over here look now you're like which one is bigger that one or that one this one looks bigger obviously that's the case because that's further away but is that see even up here they look very similar in size up here i don't know i like it i like it makes sense the scale inside the church makes sense why would you change it if it made sense you can't okay uh and then this is going to be where the little path goes up there we'll have like a little wall so you don't fall off the cliff i'm happy with that all right guys i'm gonna leave it there if you enjoyed the episode hit that like button if you want to then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next one